So hold on, hold on one second. I'm going to uh, pause, get some water, and then set up this little tripod, and then I'm basically going to show you how to hold a stick. So hold on one second. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about basic execution and how to hold the stick. Uh, what kind of stick are you playing on? It's a Hori Real Arcade Pro. Mm. The VXSA. Oh, okay, yes, yes, I remember those. Uh, yeah, solid stick. Um, basically, uh, so I don't know how you're holding it on your side, and since you don't have a webcam, I can't really see exactly. So I'm just gonna run you through the basics. So basically, my the stick is I, I'm holding the stick in between my middle and my ring finger like this, and then my wrist is planted. Uh, on the base of the stick and when I move back and forth like this you can see that um, like I'm pretty much just like like some some guys are like holding the stick like this and some guys you know they're like I, I, I don't know they're like kind of like doing yeah clawing this. it <laughs> yeah clawing it but basically like you want to get it to the point where you're doing as the movements that you're doing are as precise as possible. And this is where it becomes useful to have input display on. Because when we're throwing fireballs or doing uppercuts or anything, when something, when you mess up and a move doesn't come out, like this is where you have to look at the input display as well as focus on having very precise motions to determine where you went wrong with the motion so okay um you should also know that 80 percent eight really like 90 percent of the motion and the movement on the stick is done with your middle uh, with your your middle finger your index finger and your thumb and so i can basically do everything from doing half circles to doing 360s to doing uppercuts all of that is basically you know almost all entirely done through these fingers. Notice that my wrist is like barely moving at all. And it's also like relatively quiet. You know, like I'm pretty sure you can't really hear too much of like what's going on over here, but I can definitely hear all the stuff that you're doing on your stick. Oh, so, you can? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course I can. Um, so, okay, let's practice just this uh, movement so what I want you to do is hold the stick like I'm holding it plant your uh, the your wrist basically into the board so like basically the weight of my hand is like right here okay now I want you to basically walk back and forth like me so basically we're just gonna we're just like dancing like dance with me Anthony there you go Back and forth. See how you're a little bit jerkier than I am? Yeah. I want you to, so what that means is like I my stick control allows me to move a little bit smoother. See how um like yours your Ryu kinda like Yeah, stops, yeah, it stops. Kinda stops. Yeah. So I don't know why I don't really know why that happens. But I can tell you that you're moving the stick a little bit differently than I am. Back and forth, back and forth, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Yeah. Try to stay in try, try to stay in sync with me. Look, so we're just okay, let's use the boxes on the floor as a marker. So I'm see the box to the right of me mm -hmm. i'm basically going to walk from j just to the left of the box with my right foot to basically being in the box like in the box see so use the box oh, and, in there and then so, back out yeah so i'm just walking i'm using my right i guess technically it's his left foot so i'm using his left foot to go in and out of the box and just going from the black from one black line to the other see 
Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm getting used to this. Uh... Yeah, I, I do. It, it takes practice. But, like, these little super tiny details... I mean, these are the things. Yes, th dude. This is this is why we're like building you. You are a blank slate, and we are building you into a killing machine, one nut and bolt at a time. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Oop. Okay, so that's basically what movement should look like. Now, uh, let's talk about buttons. So I don't know how your hands are positioned, but basically the way that I use, uh, the way that I have my hands by default is basically with my three fingers covering uh, light, medium, and heavy punch. Uh, a lot of people use, some people try to like use their thumb for stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. You basically want to never use your thumb. The only time, in my opinion, it's acceptable to use your thumb is if you're teching a throw. Sometimes people tech like this, with their um, index and uh, thumb on. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, that's still like a really inefficient way to do it. Uh, and I I usually just use these these uh, fingers. Or uh, one way to do it is to use your middle finger to basically um, cross your light uh, cross your index finger over your middle finger, and then basically use your middle finger as one finger to hit both buttons. Um, the reason for this is because I feel that it leaves less chance of error. In my opinion, if you're using these three fingers for like the other 99% of your game, and then you're only using your thumb to tech throws, like in my opinion, your thumb is not going to be as on point and thus could be slightly more prone to error than just using either your middle finger or attacking like this with two fingers that you use all the time. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so the, the next thing to think about is that when you're just hitting one button at a time, like for example, like you're hitting uh, crouching medium kick or, you know, or sweep, like generally I find it to be good practice to use two fingers on one button so as to use so it's basically like create um, like a stronger like dual finger. Like there's less chance of you missing the button. And also the other thing is that it just naturally keeps these other two fingers out of the way. Because the last thing that you want to happen is to be trying to do something and then oops, like oh shit, like I accidentally hit. For something else. Yeah, you don't want to accidentally do anything in this game. Everything must be on purpose. So, um. So, like, for example, when we're throwing fireballs, like, I'm just, I'm just going like that. So, um, what I want you to do, you have input display on, right? Yes. Okay. So, uh, what I want you to do is basically do the fireball motion, but don't hit the button. So, you can see that by looking at my input display, I'm just going from down to down, forward to forward. And... There's no extra, there's no like extra motion. It's not like, you know, there's, there's none of that. There's none of the, there's no jumping. There's no, like, let's say, um, you know, doing fireball to back or doing fireball to down back. There's none of that. I just want you to have super clean fireball motions, just down, down, forward, forward. It doesn't even really have to be that fast. So, does your input display look like mine? Or is it a little messier? It's uh, it's looking like yours. Mm -hmm. I get a little bit of the down and forward every now and again. Okay. No, no diagonal down. Good. Okay, good. So now, uh, we're just going to add one little thing to it which is light punch so i want you to do the fireball motion and then press light punch you don't actually even need to hit you should also know that you don't actually need to hit the button at the same time that you hit forward you can actually do the motion and then hit the button a split second later and it'll still come out because 
there is some input leniency. Okay. All right, so go ahead, you try. That was me just testing. Trying to like visualize it as I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly head. what you got to do. Visualize it; it'll make it easier to physically execute. It. Okay, that was my that was a little Mike Ross there. I was listening for your Hadouken just to throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> So basically the idea, and this is one of the things that I'm going to put in your homework, is you're going to have to basically throw 100 fireballs a day on each side. Minimum. Okay. Yeah, on either side, yeah. Yes. Okay. Because the idea is that, um, you know, as we as we demonstrated at uh, when we were doing this exercise, Crouching medium kick fireball and then you know throwing fireballs like if you think I'm gonna throw a fireball you should throw your own fireball but you have to be able to execute it you know in the heat of the moment when it counts yeah okay so the next uh, uh, the next thing to practice is the uppercut so there's plenty plenty of ways to do the uppercut, but basically you should learn it, should learn how to do it the classic way. Even though there are shortcuts and you can do stuff like down forward, down forward, punch to to get the uppercut, and you can also do things like wiggle the stick from like down back to down forward, down back to down forward. Like you can also you can do the uppercut like a a, a bunch of different ways. But the way that you need to learn it is the way that it's act is the way that the actual motion is, which is forward down, down, forward, and punch. Good. Good. Yep. A hundred of these, it's going to be a hundred of these on, on each side. You know it. it. You know <laughs> it. <laughs> I mean, you got to get it to the point where you can do it 10 times in a row. Like, no big deal. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy, right? Like, and then, you know, I mean, <laughs> that's the other side. <laughs> yeah, like, this is, you have to build the muscle memory. And this is the most straightforward way to do it, in my opinion. So, um, let's see. All right, what else? Uh, okay. So, oh, okay. All right. So now we need to we need to think about some basic combos, right? So when we were doing this exercise, one of the things that the last thing that we added was being able to jump in, right? So jump ins are important, not because you always need to be jumping, but because the one time that you should jump, that you actually hit it and that things and that it actually works, um, you need to be able to hit the proper combo off of the jump in. So, the most basic combo that you're going to start with is jumping heavy kick, crouching medium kick, into fireball. Now, notice that if I hit you too high, like, oh wait, 
Uh, there's actually not even any way to really. Yeah, that's kind of a solid combo, with, uh, from, even from the old days. Yeah. Okay. So the idea is that if you think I'm going to throw a fireball, then you would jump in and do it. So the way that you would practice this is you would go into training mode and then set the dummy to throw fireballs and then play it back using the playback feature and then practice doing your combo over and over and over. So, uh, have, wait, have you used the dummy recording before? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. When I was when I was actually trying to get the uh, the timing down on the uh, when you do the focus attack to absorb an attack. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So I don't need to show you how to do that then. Okay, so uh, so basically, uh, let me see you do uh, uh, this combo. Okay, so what happened? What uh, why why did that happen that way? Uh, oh, for me that that was uh that was a, a missed a missed input there. Okay, so how are your hands positioned? I actually have mine. I have uh my left hand is is as you described. My right hand. I normally have my uh my three fingers uh over the the kick, the kick buttons, okay. the medium, the medium hard punch, and then the the hard kick. So you have it like this. Uh, let me see here. I'm looking at your inset. I'm looking at the inset here. I see. Well, I see your your left hand. I don't see the uh, your right hand. Oh, you don't see you can't see my buttons? No, I can't see the buttons. I saw I see your where you have your the, the joystick. What about now? Okay, yeah, now I can see, yeah. Okay. So, you see, it's a uh, ring finger, middle finger, ring finger. Okay, see, so, okay, I think your buttons, your buttons are, are different than my buttons. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's still the they're still in the same position, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you're you're using. Uh, see, I have, I have, where your the your top your top two right buttons. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are the the three three punches and three kicks. Yeah. The top. The bottom right, the bottom right buttons. This one. Yeah, that one is my hard kick, and the one right next to it is the hard punch. But it's the default. It's the default. Uh, the fuck, oh, dude. Yeah, mine is the default con control scheme. I've been. No, 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 no. Hold the fall. Does hold the <laughs> what the fuck? Hold the. Mine's the I don't have like a custom, custom. I just all my fighting what? games has always been default. No. I never tried to have no. any custom. This is not custom. This is default. You're pl the reason why. Oh my god. Okay, you need to go to button config right now. I need okay. to change. Okay, tell me, tell me what it was set. Tell, tell, tell me what it's set to. Okay, I have X for medium punch. No, 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 no. Controller type. Oh, controller type is arcade stick. Okay, and then button layout. It says custom. I didn't you just Anthony? Didn't you just tell me? That you play on default everything. Yeah, but I, I, it's it is default everything. But uh, wait, hold on, hold on one second, hold on one second. Hold on one second. You know what? This is the the default layout is actually. You know what? That's my mistake because I actually the default layout for the my other fight stick from the on the PlayStation Three actually had that control layout. So that's my mistake. So actually, uh, I'll use whichever one you're using. Okay. So basically, on the Mad Cat stick, the default controller type uh -huh. A. So type a. but but 
I'm almost certain that Hori needs to be set to Arcade Stick Type C. But try it. Okay. Okay. You went. Okay. Just set it to Controller Type A. Okay. And then now, now press. Uh, I mean, just go along the top. So light, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, are you so, are we okay, hitting so, are we hitting the same buttons yeah i think we're hitting the same buttons now are you, you have let me verify i'm looking at your screen here to make sure yeah okay here let me let me okay look this is light punch medium punch heavy punch light kick medium kick heavy kick okay is that the same or different that's the same okay now you're saying that before it was different, correct? Yeah, before I had the where your two fingers are right now, that was the my hard punch, and then the button to the right of that was my the hard kick. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I was I was doing it <laughs> again. Like I said, I, I have this game also for PlayStation Three, and and whatever control layout that it showed me the first time, I just went with that. I thought that was the the, the default. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. Does this make a little bit more sense now? Yeah, that, that's the old school way with the, the light, this is, medium, fierce. And... This, is, this is not the old school way. This is just the way. <laughs> yeah, the way, yeah, the way, or the way. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm glad we're on the same page now. Okay. Yeah, we're on the same page now. <laughs> okay. So now let's... Where were we? Uh... Okay. So ring, middle, ring. Okay. Now you try. So jump in with jump in with heavy kick. Add that hitbox, okay. Okay, so I hear a lot of stuff. I hear a lot of joystick wiggling and I don't see a fireball coming out. So try one more time. Okay, so why didn't why didn't it work right there? I think I I think I got some uh, some more missed inputs here. Okay, so look at the input display. Okay, so so now this is how we start to build combos, right? <clears throat> you need to do it one step at a time. So there's two. This combo has two segments uh, jumping heavy kick crouching medium kick is one segment and then crouching medium kick fireball is the second segment so basically you want to practice each segment individually until you can hit it 10 times in a row and then put it together so I want you to do just crouching uh, jumping heavy kick into crouching medium kick just like that Good. Okay. I want you to try to. I want you to try to hit it. I want you to try to hit me on the chest when you jump in. Okay. Better. Yes. Good. Oh, that. Oh, okay. So that'll make a difference in how the the combo will kind of be set up. Yes. Like okay. it. These these minor details are. It's important because you have to be able to see the difference when on where you hit them on the body because sometimes you want to hit in the front and then other times you want to hit in the back and other times you want it to look like it's going to hit in the front but it actually hit, hits in the back and vice versa but the only way that you can do that is by being able to try to target specific areas you know uh on purpose so like for example um if i want to cross you up i want to hit you like kind of like on the neck but okay you see so but if i'm just jumping in chances are i just want to hit you as deep as possible you know okay so you're you're hitting okay 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 so you so, said ring ring middle 
ring, and middle, ring finger ring. going back. Yeah. Okay. So before you go back to doing that, then I want you to try to do the crouching medium kick and the fireball. So just practice that. No, 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 no. Just the crouching medium kick and the fireball. So, look at the inputs and then tell me why it doesn't why it doesn't work. Oh, that that was from I see it here. It's, I'm I got a that that execution that you mentioned. I'm, I was hitting it the the fierce button too late. Okay, good. Now try it again. Yeah. So right there, you're probably doing it too slow. Okay, so now when you're having trouble even putting this together, now you have to go back and you got to throw some fireballs. I'm looking at this input here. Let me get this. Okay, okay. Okay, I see what you, okay, I see what you're talking about now. Okay, so now that you've thrown some fireballs, now just add crouching medium kick right before you throw the fireball as fast as possible, but while still being very precise with your joystick movement. <laughs> you make it sound so easy. It is easy. You just haven't had enough practice. Okay, so now look at the input and then see what happened. A little faster. Here, look at look at. See how fast that is? It's like, here, I'm putting my mic up to it so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay. See how, see how it's a little bit faster? There you go. Getting used to this. Uh... There you go. Good. Good. I gotta hold it exactly like you're holding it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like holding that's, it like. <laughs> that's that's the idea. That it's like getting used to Anthony, using. The... <laughs> I I had a premonition, a dream. I saw you. I met you in a dream, and I knew that I had to buy this fancy webcam arm so that I could properly show you how to hold the stick. Okay, so what happened right there? All right, what happened right I had, there? I had some extra inputs there. I had one, two, okay, yeah. Yes. That was okay. supposed to be three yes. inputs. So remember, remember, middle finger, ring finger, and remember, so now I just want you to do, okay, so what I want you to do is just, just the crouching medium kick fireball motion, but don't hit the punch button. You see? Okay, yeah, yeah, there's some extra input. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like we're trying we need to break it down to the smallest possible piece. So that means like, okay, well we're just gonna do fireball motions, okay? We're gonna build it like that. And then okay, now we're comfortable with fireball motions. We're gonna throw we're gonna add the punch button to the end. Right? And then it's like, okay, well now we're trying to do low forward fireball. Okay, so let's just do low forward and the motion. Low forward with the motion. Okay, now we're comfortable with that. Okay, now let's hit the fireball. Now let's hit the punch button with the mid with your middle finger and then your ring finger. I mean, you could even do. It doesn't even matter. It's just, that's just the way that I'm doing it. I mean, if you feel more comfortable, like, see how it doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm using 
Like yeah, punch. medium or or the, yeah, yeah, I'm used to using always... the medium. That's fine. I mean, if that's easier for you, that's that's fine because there's basically, um. I mean, look, that does 70 damage, that does 70 damage, and that does 70 damage. They all do the same amount of damage, and you're going to be able to combo each of them from right there. Yeah, good. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm getting it, I'm getting it better with the, uh, the medium. input there extra inputs okay all right so um we are pretty much uh out of time so uh i have your homework here which i am putting into the chat for you uh, number one, practice with punishing, right? Reuse uh, crouching heavy kick with your own crouching heavy kick. Throw 100 fireballs on each side. Do 100 uppercuts on each side. I mean, really, you should be doing like 500, but 100 is a good start. Okay. And I mean, you have to do this every day. Do you have time to practice every day? Yeah, yeah, I do. Good. You need to do this every day until you can do all of these 10 times in a row. Okay. Without fucking it up. All right. So crouching medium kick fireball, jumping heavy kick, crouching medium kick into fireball, and then jumping heavy kick, crouching medium kick into heavy tatsu. Does that uh, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that'll 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 keep me. Uh, that'll keep you busy, right? That'll keep me occupied. Uh, Good. Upside down face boot text. There you go. Uh, oh, uh, 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 uh,